friends. Hey friends. Hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. You're all you are all some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I actually wanted to do a tag. It's been a really long time since I've done a tag, mostly because I just stopped being able to keep up with tags. But I saw a fun one that I really wanted to try doing, so I figured why not do it right now. So it's called the Black Booktuber Dag, and it's by Reading Black. I'm gonna put their, a picture of their channel here so you can go and watch their original video, which I'll link down below too, and you can check them out. So yeah, I saw this tag and I thought it was really fun looking, and it seemed like a cool idea. So... I'm gonna just go ahead and jump right into the questions. The first question is, tell us a little about yourself. So, my name's Alana, as I said in the beginning of the video. I'm 23, I'm about to be 24 next week, which is like weird, because I swear I still feel like I'm 15 half the time. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing in this adult life, but that's okay. I am mixed, my mom is black, my dad is white. It's it's a whole mixed bag up in here. <laughs> I love to read, obviously. I love to sit and binge Netflix shows. I hate horror movies, hate clowns. I don't know what else to really say about myself. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's me. In the, in the flesh. Okay, moving on. The next question is, who's a black author you love that a lot of people don't know about? So for this one, one that I really love that I still don't see a lot of people talking about is Dana L. Davis. So she wrote Tiffany Sly Lives Here Now, and I think she might have another book out. I'm not positive. I gotta check on that. But I really enjoyed her writing in this story and I really enjoyed her depiction of mental health and just uh, the importance of it and I enjoyed how she like portrayed her characters in this book. So I don't know if she's a forever fave but I really liked the way she did this book. In case you don't know it's about a girl whose mother has just died and so she has to move in with this father she didn't really know about. And as she's moving in and getting used to him, this other guy kind of pops up and he's like, I may be your dad too. And she's like, well, dang, now I have two dads. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting because like that's not the main plot line. It's just one of the plots happening. She also has to get used to her dad's new family and this new school that she is in she grew up in chicago and she moved to california so she has to get used to being in this predominantly white setting that she's been thrust into so it's kind of like a lot of things in one but i still think it's really good the next question is favorite book about the black experience so for this one i chose piecing me together by renee watson i really enjoyed this story i think renee watson did such a good job in the portrayal of this character and just telling the story in general so it's about a girl named jade who she lives in a very impoverished area of her city and she managed to i believe get a scholarship to this private school that's predominantly white and like she wants to do better for herself she wants to make sure that she can make it and she's just kind of tired of the fact that people are underestimating her because she's black but then at the same time they're only giving her experiences because she's black and she's just kind of annoyed because she's like yes like i'm black but like i want you to give me the experiences because i want you to acknowledge that i'm a I'm good like I deserve these experiences not because of the color of my skin but because I work hard for these experiences and it's just a really good story it does talk a lot about race and just the experience of a black person 
and I appreciate it also it talks about like race in the context of friendships too especially in regards to like white privilege when you have those white friends that can do certain things that you as a black person cannot get away with at all uh, I have tons of those experiences so yeah I just really enjoyed this next question is favorite book by a black author so I was trying not to be like a typical but I can't like lie <laughs> about what, one of my favorite books i agree that a lot of people were just throwing this in videos to say oh this is a book you should definitely read for like learning experiences this is not the only book you should read <laughs> there are tons of other ones tons of other authors you need to research but this is my favorite book because of how much i related to star and yeah <laughs> i'm not even gonna say what this book is about because you should probably know it by now if not go there's a movie too you can go watch recommend a black queer book so i realized that i need to be better about reading uh black queer uh books like i have them here in my shelves and stuff i just need to read them <laughs> which i'm so slow about reading books in general so I definitely need to put them more on my priority but one I have here to recommend that just recently came out is uh, you should see me in a crown by Leah Johnson I am a little bit into this already but it's so adorable so far and I really do like it and I've heard such good things from other people who have actually finished it too so it's about a girl who is gunning to get into her top school and she learns that the financial aid has been cut off and so she's like panicking trying to figure out how she can afford to go and then she remembers that I guess her school if you win like prom queen you get a scholarship so she decides to run for prom queen and while she's running she notices her running mate and she becomes kind of interested in this person and yeah it just sounds really adorable so i'm excited to get more into this book and see how it goes recommend a book with a black person on the cover so for this one i have children of blood and bone by tomi adiyemi so i did enjoy this book it was it's really thick i will be honest but i read this in like two days straight because I was so intrigued by the story. It's about this world where there's like a set of people whose magic has been stolen. And so Zelly, who's one of the main characters of the story, decides to go on a mission to get their magic back. And with her is Amelie, who is the princess of the current ruler of the kingdom who's trying to keep these people oppressed. And it's like an intriguing story. I have the second one and I still need to start it. I'm a little nervous because I'm just like, mm. with the ending that happened, I don't know what's going to happen next. But I think if you're looking for a good black girl fantasy, this is probably a good start for it. Recommend a book by a black author that makes you happy. So for this one, I chose Slay by Brittany Morris. I love this book so much. I think Brittany Morris is honestly one of my new favorite authors she did such a good job with the portrayal of this story and just the main character and everything so it's about a girl named Kira who creates this game called slay and it's a game that celebrates blackness and she only really allows like other black people in and it's supposed to celebrate the black culture well, some things happen and there ends up being like a huge scandal around her game because of a certain event that happens. And so she ends up having to like defend her game and kind of define like why it's so important to her. I love this story so much because it also talks about just like blackness and how there's like different varieties of blackness there's just not one way to be black and how like that's okay that's honestly beautiful like it's what makes being black so awesome and yeah i just love the story so much so the next question is recommend some black booktubers editing alana here with 
my whole bonnet and everything. I didn't really think this through. Um, <laughs> so, I have recommended some booktubers on here, but I wanted to quickly come in and say um, I'm also going to be putting a playlist down below of the Unfriendly Black Hotties, which is an awesome group chat I'm a part of that has some awesome black booktubers you should check out. So I'm going to definitely put that play playlist in the description down below because I'm also recommending all of those people along with the others I mentioned right after this clip. Okay, so uh, there's a lot I could recommend. I only chose a few mostly because I don't want this video to be too long. But I will also leave some links of people down below too if you want some more recommendations. But some, some I'm going to name is Chanel from Chanel Time. I love her videos. She's so hilarious, so funny. She just is a doll. Next is Erin from Booked and Busy. I recently just found Erin's channel and I recently just got started really getting to know her and she is freaking hilarious. I love her so much. She reads a lot of, uh, from what I'm, I've gathered so far, I could totally be wrong so don't quote me on this, just go watch her videos. But I think she reads a lot of like adult fantasy it seems like. So if you're really into adult fantasy and you're looking for like a channel to really go to, I recommend her channel. Next person is Monet from Life of Monet. I also just found her channel. I recently just started getting to know her. She seems super sweet, so I definitely recommend checking out her videos and just supporting her. And the last person I have is Tiana from Tiana and T. I, again, recently just found her channel because YouTube sucks. And <laughs> I love this girl so much. She is so freaking hilarious, like the others. But I uh, recently just became friends with her on Twitter too, and her videos crack me up. She only has a few right now because she just like started. Okay, I'm gonna stop gushing because I feel like it's a little weird. <laughs> so uh, talk about a book by a black author that's coming out in 2020. Okay, so I forgot to look up the author of this book and that's how much I fail. But the book I'm really looking forward to is Legendborn. It comes out in September of this year. Okay, so the cover really drew me in, first of all. Second of all, I was, like, intrigued because it's about this girl who, like, goes away to college and she sees this, like, magical event happen. Because of certain things that happen in her past, she, like, decides to infiltrate this magical secret society. And it just sounds, like, intense, but so, like, it'll be so good. So I definitely am looking forward to this, and I just really want it. The last, uh prompt is just to tag some black booktubers if you're a black booktuber and you're watching this i tag you because this tag needs all the praise but also do not forget to credit the creator and to watch their original video all right so this is the black booktuber tag uh hopefully you enjoyed watching this if you did please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up down below if you have any comments questions concerns or whatever about any of my answers or books I picked or whatever please leave all that down below if you are not good at commenting i'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below i'm still in the idea for my friend sylvia from wish fulfillment and if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe down below as well you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds mm -hmm.